Lucy. Uh, this is the Locusory Capital Press Corps. Uh, we're here for the uh, press conference regarding the Batang Pinoy 2017 uh, Luzon Games. And first, to ask question, we have uh, Bombo Ronald uh, Taktay of Bombo Radio Vigas. Okay, uh, good afternoon, fellow uh, officers. Uh, sa ating dalawang commissioners, sa ating commissioners, Sir, how do you assist the opening of the uh, Luzon Leg Batang Pinoy sa Locusor? Uh, of course, uh, kami uh, natutuwa. Uh, amazed at the preparation uh, by the province, uh, headed by our young and energetic uh, governor, Ryan. Sa mga kita ko kanina, very happy na ngayon. Yung mga bata kasi talaga hindi sila maglaro. So, to you gather them to, together in an event like this, talagang uh, yun ang kanilang gusto. So, yung sa opening kanina, uh, hindi masyadong mahaba at saka but all of uh, uh, emotion kasi uh, ang gaganda like, like ng uh, ating uh, speech ng ating uh, kind of speaker na si Yosek uh, Kumali uh, talagang uh, from the heart uh, so we are really happy from, from the Philippine Sports Commission we are happy that uh, the province of uh, Ilocos are prepared for this and we are looking forward for a fruitful uh, week uh, in the competition of the our student athletes so, uh, ano po follow up? Uh, a while back, school youth, inang po yung mga participants if, if uh, meron kayong idea numbers. Yung mga out of school, but definitely, according to the some of the LDUs, meron talagang mga out of school. Ang, 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 ang importante naman dito is uh, to give chance or opportunity to everyone. Uh, as I've said uh, earlier sa aking uh, mensahe, Ang direktiba naman talaga ng Presidente is to bring sports, to make sports accessible to every Filipino. So, hin ang ibig sabihin hindi lang yun yung mga nag-aaral natin ng mga atlet, yung mga kabataan, pati na yung out of school. Uh, wala lang akong exact, uh, uh, bigyan naman ng paumanahin, paumanahin uh, wala akong exact number talaga. But, ang, ang not, even, not, not only out of school talaga yung programa ng PSC, kami sa PSC. We are coming up with a talent identification program, especially on the indigenous peoples, uh, which we are going to, to launch uh, anytime soon, yung uh, aming programa on this. Kasi uh, during the giving of cash incentives to the uh, SEA Games uh, medalists, may directive ang Presidente na to widen the search uh, among, in include yung mga ating mga ITs at saka out of school youth. Thank you, major sporting events sa youth po ng Ilocos or in particular in uh, the Filipinos uh, 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 Well, kung sa sports naman po, no, ito ay uh, maging uh, inspirasyon para sa mga kabataan na maging active sa mga sports program uh, Kung naalala nyo, medyo hindi po maganda or hindi active ang sports program ng ating probinsya noon So, uh, <laughs> nag-concentrate po tayo doon nagbigay po tayo ng mga options sa mga athletes kung anong sports na babagay sa kanila. Uh, kung matandaan nyo, basketball was the only sports ng alam natin noon. So ngayon po na naipatayo itong uh, Pinunong Stadium, uh, nabigyan po sila ng chance na mamili at mag-excel sa kanilang uh, sports na uh, alam nila na, na, na mag-excel sila. Tourism, malaking uh, tourism uh, factor po ito dahil uh, Sa Batang Pinoy, that's the Luzon leg. We have 120 LGUs, uh, 6,000 or 7,000 participants. So imagine mo na lang yun kung lahat sila magkakalesa, ibili ng longganisa, bagnet, uh, ubus yan. And uh, that's only Batang Pinoy. The main event is uh, Palor Pamadza. Uh, that is nationwide. So uh, lahat ng region pupunta po dito at uh, mapupulo ang ating uh, sudan at ating uh, probinsya at mauubos lahat ng mga uh, paninda natin. So nakakatulong na rin po yun sa tourism at saka sa ekonomiya ng ating uh, probinsya. So uh, makikinabang po lahat dito yung mga talagang uh, mga negosyante and our uh, province will be again uh, be known nationwide or hopefully worldwide. And then sa mga athletes, hopefully in the future uh, magkakaroon po tayo ng isang Ilocano na makapag-excel uh, na rin sa uh, lahat ng sports at maybe someday maging isang uh, Olympian. So hopefully, uh, in the Olympics, makakita po tayo ng isang Ilocano. 
no? So the total number of athletes here is uh, 6,244. The total number of coaches is uh, 1,185. And the total of officials, 246. So we have a grand total of 7,675. And the total LGU who participated in this Sabatang Pilo is 129. Uh, out of school youth na uh, participants. May chance po ba sila makabalik ng uh, pag-aaral through sports? Sa USEC. Sa USEC. Napakaganda po nung talong ni conduit, if you may, to entice, to encourage our learners, our out of school youth to return to school. Talaga pong napakagandang mamamaraan po yan. Yan po ay napatunayan na po sa maraming uh, pagkakataon. Uh, or at the very least, uh, we could encourage them to do alternative uh, learning system. Uh, ang sports po talaga, marami pong uh, nagagawa po yan. At isa nga po yan, yung uh, maipanumbalik yung kanilang interest na mag-aral. Mabilis ko lang pong ipapahintulad po ninyo yung, yung significance ng numero na sinabi ni Commissioner Agustin at nito tapot apat. Kung ikukumpara po ninyo yan sa palarong pambansa. Ang palarong pambansa po natin nasa 7,000 hanggang 7,000. Nationwide po yan. Kaya ito po yung talagang napakadaming mga bata at ang kagandahan po nitong bata ng Pinoy tulad ng napangin po natin kanina bagamat wala lang po po tayong isa kung di lang po ilan po yung out of school yun ay patiga po yung mga bata ang wala po doon sa formal uh, na sistema ng pag-aaral ay na nakukuha po natin. Bukod po dyan, yung uh, konsepto ng uh, 15 years old and below, kaya nga po talagang we are really reaching out to our boss, bosses in the Philippine Sports Commission, si Chair Butch po natin, si Commissioner Masset, si Commissioner Agustin, para po mangyari yung magandang partnership. Pag nakita po ninyo, 15 years old and below, Batang Pinoy, uh, 17 and 18, palarong pambansa, secondary education, elementary level, nasa 12 and 13 po yan. Tuloy-tuloy po yung pagkakataon ng mga bata na pagkatapos po makita yung sinasabi kanila ni Commissioner Masi natin, yung talent identification. Uh, meron po tayong programa doon, I don't want to dwell on that. Talent uh, selection, and then they will be given an opportunity to compete, and then we recognize them, and we train them further para po mangyari yung sinasabi ni Gov. Ryan na sana, malay nyo, Ilocano nga po, ang una po magbibigay ng medalya dito sa ating bansa. Yan po, palagay ko po ang kahalagahan ng ating batang Pinoy. Ito po ay isang bahagi po lamang, napakahalagang bahagi ng overall sports development plan na pinatutupad po ng ating Philippine Sports Commission and if I may say, kung ipapahintulon po ninyo, in partnership with the Department of Education. Talagang pagdating ng sports, boss po namin ang, ang PSC dapat tanggapin po ng ng DepEd po yun, dahil sila po talaga ang may mandato. Nasa amin lang naman po kasi yung kliyente, which is the students, and therefore we engage them, we we tap them to help us equip our teachers, our coaches, because they are the ones who should be the experts. So, yun, yun po yung nangyayari dyan. At para makompleto nga po yung, uh, yung talagang partnership, napakalagaw ng papel na ginagampanan ng pamahalang lokal. And I'm very happy that I met our Gov. Ryan, Go Brian, a very visionary leader. He, he, he was talking about how to make sports uh, or to make uh, Ilocos Sur boss. Oh, ikaw, yes. ikaw na. Sinasabi ko na. Uh, para sa iyo, as a... He's, he's putting Ilocos Sur in the sports map uh, of the Philippines. They hosted uh, uh, regional athletics in Arditorio sometime in March. They also hosted uh, now Batang Pinoy and then Palarong Pambalsa next year. And they have these football uh, competitions na talagang mapahusay na pag uh, bata. Eh. Para magkabalsa na kami ni Gov. Ryan. Eh. Lamang nangatakan ng dalawang taon kay Gov. Ayaw ba yung ni Gov? Yung uh, sports program with the scholarship. So kung magaling siya sa sports, uh, pwedeng bigyan ng scholarship yung provincial government. Sa unang tingin, parang uh, magandang konsepto, pagsamahin. Pero tulad doon na pag po kanina, uh, under the law, palarong pambansa, elementary and secondary education. Usually, when you talk about elementary, they will uh, send yung kanilang pinaka may edad na pwedeng sumali, yan po yung 13-year-old, 12-year-old. Pagdating po sa secondary, dahil may senior high school po tayo, that's 17 and 18. 
ang batang Pinoy, kung 15 and below, kalimitan niya nasa 14 and 15. So, makita po natin yung tuloy-tuloy na pagkakataon ng mga mahusay na bata, kasi malaga po, uh, medyo natututo po ako sa pag-engage ko po sa mga talagang may alam, lalo na po sa atleta. Kaya I, I talk like this, though I'm a lawyer by profession. Though I'm the section of uh, palarong pambansa, syempre nag-aaral din po tayo na may pagkakataon ng mga atleta na maglaro ng pagpapatuloy. Patuloy na training and then allow them to compete in events like this kasi yung pinakamahusay maglalaban-laban para lalo silang mapaghusay. Yan po ay bahagi ng isang uh, de sports development program na binabalangkas po ngayon ng ating Philippine Sports Commission at ng uh, kagawaran ng edukasyon and in partnership with DILG, hopefully. So, we hope that we should not think of this. Kung ano lang po, sir, kung ang batang Pinoy o ang palarong pamansa ay tipong pagkatapos ng palaro ay walang mangyayari dun sa mananalo, tama po kayo yung sinabi nyo, medyo magastos nga. Dahil parang uh, pagkatapos mangyari ay wala naman po palang kasunod na training doon sa mga nananalo. Tama po yun. Pero kung ito yung bahagi ng isang mas malawakang programa, kung saan yung nananalo ay patuloy na magkakaroon ng pagkakataon na mag-training and then mag-compete, mag-training and then mag-compete, yun po ang uh, kahalagahan doon ng uh, batang Pinoy para po sa akin. At saka po yung out of the landlines na po sila dito, naging trainer na po sila sa ibang bansa. Opo. Ipasigur sana, uh, ba bakit uh, wala po ba tayong magagawa para sa kanila? Opo. Ito po ang DepEdu kasi hanggang high school nagawa sa aming pamamaran. Yan po yung magkukompleto ng cycle dapat. So dapat uh, talent identification, talent selection, bata pa po lamang. Pagkatukoy niyan, we, we intend to implement in partnership with PSC yung sports club system and then varsity school system. Sports club system, we allow them to play. And then from there, we will see the talent. Very general po yun. I'm trying to simplify it. Pag naging mahusay sila, ikasali niya sa varsity school system. And then you have competitions like this. Tuloy-tuloy. And then training. Maging kampyon. Maari po silang maging coaches or officiating official. Hindi na po ng ibang bansa. Kung magkakaroon po talaga ng tunay na kamalayan ang ating mga leader ng ating bansa na dapat bibigyan natin sila ng oportunidad dito hindi po sa labas ng bansa. Bibigyan natin sila ng pagkakataon na makapag-coach. Uh, kapag dating po sa palarong pambansa, dapat po, uh, ito yung, uh, this is what I'm trying to do right now eh, with, with, with palarong pambansa. To the extent possible, kung aming mga teachers ang kailangan gamitin maging coach, okay lang po yun. Pero kung may makuha aming coach sa labas, darating dapat ang panahon that we are willing to pay for that para po, additional employment opportunity po yan. Doon sa sinasabi po ninyo na kung wala po sila makita employment opportunity, sila po ilalabas ng bansa. Yan po ay isa pong uh, bagay na dapat po talagang uh, pagtuunan ng pansin ng kagawaran ng edukasyon. The mere fact that we made sports as one of the tracks sa senior high school, I digress a little bit if you may. Academic, tech box, sports, arts and design. We know the inherent importance of sports. It's enshrined in the Constitution that sports should be given priority as a tool for nation building among others. Pero hindi ko siya napapahalagan. We have 1.5 million grade 11 enrollees. And guess what po, sir? Wala pa pong 5,000 hanggang 6,000. That's less than 1%. One half of 1% enrolled in the sports track. Yan ang dahil. Ang dahilan po niyan yung sinasabi po ninyo. Wala pong nakikita ang mga bata na klarong hinaharap clear future if they engage in sports. So one way of doing that is for a holistic approach in sports development and to complete the cycle, we should allow our athletes to have employment opportunities in our case sa DepEd. Meron po kami yung dati namin USEC for curriculum and instruction. Say, if we need to hire coaches, full-time coaches, let's do so. So, hindi na yung teacher. Yung teacher namin, kung gusto mag-coach, okay lang yan. And that would mean, uh, you know, kung entry level namin sa teacher is 20 to 22,000 pesos. Can you imagine if we will hire at least one coach per school and we have like 48,000 schools, public elementary and public secondary, those are 48,000 items, 48,000 warm bodies. You give opportunities to the same athlete that you mentioned who, instead of working here, will work abroad. At hindi ho mahirap hanapin po yan, sir, si Ano, Didi De Vega natin, oh, nasa Singapore. 
nasa Singapore po. So we are looking like that and in partnership with our Ecom Agustin, yung boss natin, si Kompasi, saka si Chair Butch, hopefully this will all happen. Sana po. Mr. Batang Pinoy. Batang Okay naman. Uh, yun nga ho ang uh, swerte po ng probinsya natin. Uh, kakatapos lang po ng uh, pag-host natin ng R1AA. So, kompleto pa rin yung mga building areas natin. Maganda pa rin. Ngayon, uh, na-maintain yung ganda niya dahil sa Batang Pinoy. And then, we will maintain again para sa Padro Pag-host. Kay Asik, at saka sa BSC. Yusek. Sir, just in case na may kulang pa sa mga billeting areas, areas, willing po ba yung DepEd at saka PSC na tumulog para hindi na provincial government? You're talking about Batang Pinoy? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Susunod lang si Boss Ryan. Para, magam para magamit din sa Palaro. Palaro. Ah, Palaro. Para okay. hindi na provincial government yung... Ako pleto po yung ano po natin sa Palaro. When our Gov Ryan made the presentation and our RD Almatorio is here right now, sa si Boss Idil natin, uh, tinukoy po na nila kung ano po yung mga paaralan na gagamitin po natin <coughs> building quarters at kompletong kompleto po. Pero dito sa Batang Pinay, kung yung po ang pag-uusapan, sa bila ni Boss Ryan, pipirmahan natin kagad yun para magamit po sa <laughs> Last two questions, Mr. Taan and uh, Bong. Yes, sir. Uh, good afternoon, good interview is. Uh, may I address my query to the good uh, sports commissioner, sir, with the holding of this uh, Badam Pinoy Luzon leg, does this mean that uh, this activity is already a preparatory to the Palarong Pampantan, that our young kids have uh, more chances to participate in this coming Palarong Pampantan? Uh, yes, uh, yung pong uh, makabala ng mga local government uh, units na mag-represent sa kami ng kanilang mga lugar. So ito po yung uh, tinatawag natin na uh, chance para sa ating mga kabataan, yung mga uh, bata pa, na magkaroon sila ng future para sa, hindi lang sa palarong pamasa, also in uh, to be a future uh, national team representing the Philippines in international competition as well. Uh, mabigyan sila ng pagkakataon. So ito yung ating ano, ito yung magiging ano, nila, level nila para mag-discover sila in the future. In Palarong Pambansa, sir, uh, is it exclusively for students? Okay. Yes. Palarong Pambansa, uh, it's, uh, it's a school-based, uh, we have to understand that it is a school-based program uh, is prohibited by the Department of Education. So uh, talaga yung mga nasa eskwela, yung mga ating mga kalahok dito po. Uh, but uh, as I've said, uh, we as a PSC, we have programs to help those out of school. As I've said earlier, with our, meron din kaming uh, program for that. And then, uh, even itong uh, Batang Pinoy, uh, meron mga kalahok natin dito na mga out of school. So, yun ang bali solusyon natin doon sa mga hindi makasali sa panarong pamatid. Okay, that's all. Thank you. And uh, to, to add lang po, yung... For everyone's information, before pa tayo nag-build ng Palarong Pambansa, naibigay na po yung Batang Pinoy sa atin. So kung ano yung preparation natin ngayon, mas maganda sa Palarong Pambansa, mas malaki sa Palarong Pambansa. So dry run po ito, kung ano nakita nyo dyan sa labas kanina, uh, parang ganun, pero mas gagawin natin mas, ano, mas malaking nga celebration dahil mas marami po tayong mga... Uh, uh, participants. Okay, sir, last question. Ano po yung nakalaan ng DepEd to support provincial government sa ating pag-post? Uh, traditionally, alam nyo po, hindi po yan uh, ganun kalakihan. Nasa, ano ba, RD? Uh, 3M sa host division and like 5 to 7M sa host region, di ba? Uh, Parang mga ganyan yan eh. Pero, hindi lang yan dyan na uh, uh, natatapos yan dahil uh, may, may dagdag pa yun. Uh, I don't want to preempt our, may mga ibang undersecretaries kami na, unibawa yung repair ng, ano, ng schools as, uh, to be used as building quarters. Uh, meron pong uh, naidadagdag uh, din po tayo doon. Uh, so on top of the amounts that I mentioned, uh, uh, meron pa po naman dyan. I don't want to preempt. Our Yusek Alin Pascua, for example, is the one in charge of that.
since uh, you're asking about uh, the assistance, assistance uh, I'd like to announce that uh, the Palarong Palataman sa uh, this year, uh, the previous court commission uh, allocated them then for... Wow! Uh, oh, so then uh, then hey! Para na daw kayo bibigay ng DepEd. So, yeah. I'm sure uh, our chairman, uh, Chairman William Butz Ramirez, is uh, in constant communication with our young governor. Definitely, uh, PAC will also help. Kung tinggalungan natin ang adikin, bakit hindi ang Ilocoso? Maraming yeah. okay. salamat po. Thank you. Okay, we say thank you. Kaya, kaya ako hindi ako nagsabi po na. Thank you, sir. Uh, that's it for our press conference. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.